Here we're looking at the Napoleon P500 RSIB. Stainless steel grids, but what I want to show you today is how we can cook on the infrared on the side. This infrared burner goes up to 1800 degrees in 30 seconds. I'm going to throw a steak on here. It takes about five minutes for the steak to get done. If you never cooked on an infrared burner, let me tell you a little bit how it works. Because it is so hot, as soon as you throw the meat on it, it instantly sears the bottom. Think about it, it's 1800 degrees. I'm just going to leave it set there on that side for about two minutes and then we'll flip it. You throw the meat on, it sears the bottom, very little juice escapes, you flip it around, same thing happens to the other side, it keeps all the juice inside. And then you can do, leave it on for about three minutes, you'll have a, medium, a rare, somewhat rare, four minutes, medium rare, five minutes, medium to well done. So within five minutes time, you can do a steak no matter which way you prefer to have it done. It's been on about a minute and a half now, we're gonna go ahead and flip them. Note the sear marks on it. We'll leave it on about two minutes and it'll be done. We're gonna take the first one off. We'll cut it open, see what it looks like. Perfect medium rare steak, really juicy. Note just a little bit of redness in there. Just look at the juice in this steak. Very tender, very soft. It was on about four minutes. Perfectly done. Here we have the alfresco grill with a rotisserie chicken in it. That's a perfect way to do chicken. It just slowly cooks it and as it turns, the juices just stay within it. They roll around on it. It's a perfect way to do chicken. One of the best ways to do it. Here we have the rotisserie chicken in a pan now. Look how it just falls apart. All the juices are in there. It's nice and soft. Nothing is sticking. One of the best ways to do chicken. You don't want your chicken to be sticking. Here we have the Brawlmaster grill, but what's unique on this one right now, I have an infrared burner on the bottom, I have the Himalayan salt block on the top. So we like to do chicken on here with no seasoning. You just let the salt do the seasoning. Here we go, first piece directly on the salt block. Okay, so this piece of chicken has been on roughly two minutes on the salt block and it is done. No extra seasoning, just the salt from the salt block gives it its flavor. Okay, we're gonna put a pizza on the big green egg. I have it on the pizza stone. Right in here on the ceramics in the egg. And in four to five minutes, it'll be done. Okay, we're coming back to see how the pizza looks. And there you go. It's all done, doesn't it look great? Okay, we're gonna do some cold smoked cheese on our Louisiana wood pellet grill. You can use any flavor wood pellet, so depending on the flavor you want, that's what you put in. Cold smoke, we typically want around 100 degrees, 90 to 100 degrees. You wanna leave it in there as close to an hour as you can, but you gotta check it at half an hour, see if it's melting or not. Uh, the longer you leave it in, the more flavor you get. Okay, we're gonna take the cheese out. It's been in about an hour. And as you can see, it's melting nicely. Comes up really good. Has a great smoked flavor. Okay, now we're gonna do some cookies on the Louisiana wood pellet grill. Slide them in there just like an oven. We have done cupcakes, bread, you name it on this grill. Okay, and here we go. Chocolate chip cookies done on the wood pellet grill. Better than an oven. Hi, I'd like to show you our O-Fire wood burning grill. It's like a big griddle, you cook right on here. This is the freestanding version. Over here we have the one built into a fire pit so we call it a campfire slash O-Fire grill. We're gonna be throwing some food on here and showing you how it works. Okay, so first we're gonna do some bacon and eggs. We can also do pancakes, but I don't have pancake mix right now.
What's nice about these grills is that you can cook almost anything on it. I'll do chicken, steaks, burgers, bacon, pineapples, pancakes, peppers, onions, apples. It's almost endless what you can grill on them. And here we have three eggs over light. Okay, we're gonna come back and take our bacon off. Put it in with the eggs. All you need is a roll and you got bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Here we come with the chicken. We'll spread it along the inside. Right beside the bacon, get some of that grease in with the chicken. Don't want your chicken sticking. Now we're gonna add the peppers and onions, which have Worcestershire sauce and brown sugar on them. Just spread them all around here, let some of this juice run into the chicken and the bacon. And there we go, we'll wait till it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce and get everything ready to flip. And then once it's flipped, we'll get them another couple minutes and it should all be done. Okay, we're back. We're gonna take our peppers, onions, bacon, and the whole mixture off, the chicken, put it in a bowl. This process typically takes about five minutes from start to finish. Here we go. The whole batch of food in a bowl, the chicken, bacon, onions, peppers, with olive oil, Worcestershire sauce on it, all cooked on the griddle on the O-Fire wood-burning grill.